All right, this episode's called Rhythm. Now, with how last episode ended where we're starting our match against Inarizaki, I'm assuming we're going to maybe have issues getting into a rhythm or they're going to get into a too bad of a rhythm that's going to be messing with, I don't know, something's going to happen. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Haikyuu to the top or season four, episode 14, like I said, called Rhythm. Last episode, we are on day two of the spring tournament. It is us versus Inarizaki, who is the team of Atsumu and his brother, the Mia brothers. We also have Ojiro, Suna, Kita, so many people. You know, it's just like, I'm, I have no idea what's going to happen. I know this match is about to be insane. I know it's going to be very crazy and it's going to get intense at times, especially going against Atsumu. And we have Kageyama on our team and Hinata and he has a little thing against him. I don't know what's going to happen. I just know it's going to get pretty crazy. So with that being said, I say we just hop right on into this episode because I'm way too excited to watch it. Real quick though, remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching like Jujutsu Kaisen, Black Clover, many, many more to come in the future. We are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are always in the description if you guys ever want to check that out. If you guys do want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a, and a nice comment down below, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. And then don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the channel. And then follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Darius. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Haikyuu, season four, or to the top, episode 14, called Rhythm. Let's do it. With Hoshi. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Probably. Okay. So there's a lot that goes into it. I do remember a couple episodes, a couple episodes ago, Kageyama was specifically trying to make him more explosive on his jumps, exactly like Hoshiyumi. So they they animated him very much like Hoshiyumi right there. I just thought it was an animation choice, but no, he's he's getting that boom, that explosiveness off his jump. But with that comes a difference in contact point. So Kageyama has all these numbers and calculations going through on in his head because you know he's the set of robot. This is gonna throw us off. This is where the rhythm comes in. New opening? I guess it would make sense. This is episode 14, huh? Looks like this one's gonna focus a lot on Atsumu. In a Rizaki match, maybe. You see a lot of the aura around them. The oh, I love the camera work. See, they have like the aura, the steam off them, you know? Oh, it shows all of our previous and future challengers. So many amazing players, man. That was a banger. I still gotta get used to the song a little bit, still gotta click with me a little bit, but that was a, that was a great opening. <laughs> Atsumu said, you do not have it, I'm gonna take this. Damn. Everyone calls him Aron? I thought it was Ojiro, but maybe that's his first le his last name. I see. I see. Right at the whistle. No hesitation, no time. I think they're playing mental games as well. And yeah, no one's used to that explosive speed. We're just as much the challengers. They're seeing the legendary quick in action for the first time. It's iconic. No, <laughs> look at even ever even Hoshiyumi had a face on him. You know, famous slide attack. Hell yeah. <laughs> Their first attack is always a killer. It's always got to show you that quick. You know. <laughs> I was not expecting him to be actually impressed. Well. Wow. Really? <laughs> like five years. <laughs> Bro, that is so funny. I could totally see Tsukushima just fucking cracking a smile while they're booing him. Well, they get faster as it goes. Just like a build up to a clap, right? Oh, build up to the serve. Did 
They all went over. It's still good, but could have been better. Ooh. A beautiful set. Damn. That, I, I love the little details and stuff like that. The people who don't play volleyball, aka myself, would never pick up on. But also how the only people to notice it are the other setters watching. Kageyama noticed it. Akashi noticed it. They're the two, you know, they're two S-tier setters here. They're like, and I love that reasoning too. The first... Actually, I'm positive. The first step is so critical because it gives you enough time to be able to completely analyze where your team is at, is at on the court at the current moment and be able to like snipe whoever you. It's 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 genius. So they are definitely playing mind games because one blue served right on the whistle. My boy uh, Osamu is serving at the very end of the whistle. It's just adding pressure. It's just mind games. That's why this episode's called Rhythm. Because we have the crowd fucking with us. We have them fucking with us. We have the chanting fucking with us. Everything is messing with our rhythm. They're going to mess us up with this. Oh, and it's Tanaka's serve. They're trying to mess us up. Heck no. Tanaka's doing his signature thing. He's not going to allow that to happen, you know? Yeah, I, this is definitely distracting. That rhythm that he... Oh, it, Yeah. Your mind just instinctually goes into that patternistic feel, you know? Let me know, guys, in the comments. I hate to keep asking you guys, but I do all the time. Do you guys call him Aran, or do you guys call him Ojiro? Give me all the names you guys call all the Inorizaki members. I don't want to call them by the wrong names. I just appreciate you guys, you know? Is, hell, is that Seiko? Is that the... Oh my god, this is my fucking... You can't beat the wife. Sorry to keep you boys away. <laughs> Wait, we got Tanaka's girl watching. We got Tanaka's sister watching. Is this going to be Tanaka popping off? I would love for that to happen. Oh, no heavy. Yeah, he was the one who got back with Mika at the end of the episode because she was there. She saw how cool he and passionate he was about volleyball. That's crazy that he's here too. What the hell? They were the snakes, right, of no heavy? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> no. Japanese taiko drums? Hell yeah, we're getting into it. The Miyagi Prefecture over here, boys. Look at her. He's getting it. Oh, nice. Good return, boys. They're doing the build-up thing. Messing up the rhythm. Let's go. Let's get a different rhythm on. Understandable when Shiro Torizawa beat them in terms of the cheering section. That's why she's bae. Alright, he not just serving. We got our cheer squad behind him with this rhythm. Come on. I am praying you hit the best serve ever. We have so many people watching. Tell me, I have a feeling he's going to mess it up or just do something. And he just did a normal serve. A completely normal one. <laughs> yep. A double quick, super quick from the outside hitter. Ooh, good analytical skills. He wasn't even able to get his hands there quick enough, but his bounced off his foot. Hinata is the unknowing goat. <laughs> huh? Heck yeah, it is. As long as it doesn't hit the ground, any part of your body can touch it. <laughs> it's super hard. He was like... That's Nishinoya right there for you. He even got you and went for Daichi. That's why he's my man. Everyone fell for the Hinata decoy right there. Even Hinata did. Oh, 
人たちがコート中央に上がり角度的に日向にセットすると見せかけライトへ相手からどう見えているかもきっと把握してる<笑> the, the stuff that goes on in their minds are so crazy I love that aspect. I don't want to pause it again. I'm so sorry, guys, but I don't even think they're doing. Maybe they are doing on purpose, but I love the 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 contrast between Bokuto's simple observations and then Akashi saying yeah, 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 and then going into Akashi's head and knowing exactly what Kageyama. You know, these the stuff that goes on in the setter's minds absolutely blow me away, and I'm so glad we have Akashi on the side who's just like. Going deep into what's going on, and then you have Bogoto like, man, he not so small, but he sure is making himself known, you know. Just like, I mean, it's like, yeah, but like, you got fucking him going down the entire detailed list of everything. It's like crazy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, it's just crazy to me. See, now they're all nervous. I don't know. I don't. I want to know what's going on in Atsumu and Osumu's head. Okay, we got it. Wasn't the best receive, but hey, we did it. And now also. Oh my God, that was literal perfection. Like the way he got it there in that actual millisecond. The way they show that camera work and everything. The ooh, ah, ooh. Like, that was fucking amazing. The angle, the positioning, everything. Sheesh. So they were able to do the he. No one's able to. No one's ever been able to do the weirdo quick besides them. What? My first time watching it. Was that the TV store where Hinata got inspired by the little giant? Oh, he's watching it on his phone. That's dope. And we still got white. Oh, it's them watching it on their phone. Go Shiki, Shirabu, uh, Hyakuzawa, my fucking dude. They're watching Nationals at home, that's cool. Yahaba, right? Kentaro in the background. Kendaichi, Kunimi. Yep, everyone who's failed to get to Nationals. Shows them maybe training for next year, doing what they need to in the background. Hell yeah, Date Kogio. The girls team, the vice principal, Michi Mia. Ooh, the crows and the cats, the dumpster squad. I see it right now. Yep, that was the TV store he not to got inspired. That was I like that opening or that ending a lot. I won't lie. Fantastic episode. I thoroughly enjoy like ever since season one, the different style of obstacles that we have to deal with when it comes to volleyball, because all sports are different and the little minute details in which you have to deal with are so different vastly between them all. Like the only sports I've ever played, it was actually on a team and it was nowhere near competitive, not even like on a high school level it was like baseball and definitely like this is so it's just such different stuff you have to deal with you know like in this there was a, a spot in which we had to deal with the distancing because the gym was way bigger you know there's a spot where we have to deal with rhythm because the crowds there's a spot where you have to deal with this that and the other because this that and the other and just like the fact that the mangaka who made this put that much detail into it just blows my mind like like let's just say someone said all right darius come up with a sports anime you're we're gonna give you this budget do this that and the other i'm gonna come up with something like not even it not don't get me wrong i would never come up with anything as great as haiku i would just come up with teams who have their struggles and try to beat other teams who have their character struggles i, I don't i don't even think i would have the knowledge like i would have to study a sport for so long watch it do this that and like they do i, I just absolutely love this show and how much it's made me like really like volleyball and just know so much more like i can literally look at something at volleyball and know somewhat what's going on because of this show and <laughs> that is out standing to me i cannot believe the show was able to do that for me but atsumu and osamu brother they're just they're nasty they're so good especially atsumu ah man the, the way they animated that when he did that per the, the weirdo quick and everything and how he's constantly like he's 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 like hinata in certain aspects like his brother says he regresses five years when he sees something cool and then we have Bokuto and Akashi on the side analyzing. And then we got fucking Hoshiyumi on the side also analyzing. Everyone's watching this game. Even on the outro, we got the other people who didn't make it to Nationals watching the Nationals. We saw the guy from No Heavy come here. He's even like, what, where did, why the, where did he come from, you know? Like, we got 
people we got mad people here seiko came in and was amazing oh my god did she change the game i cannot wait <laughs> she was amazing bro oh my god i love her so much but every everyone was amazing on both teams the score is what nine and seven something along those lines we're definitely doing good but we definitely got to get into the rhythm oh this game is just fantastic. The dual wieldingness from Atsumu being able to do a floater. That is a dangerous weapon to have right there. Having both of those at your disposal. Alright, I gotta I gotta get into some editing, guys, so I gotta go. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Fantastic episodes. Thoroughly enjoyed them. If you guys did, leave a like. Check out that Patreon if you guys want early access, full length, all that jazz. I'll catch you guys in the next episodes. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, you guys.